Welcome to the first episode, everybody. So, if you know me, then I'm pretty sure you've been wondering where the hell have I been this whole entire time. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you, give you a quick little story, all right? I have been in Connecticut. See, in 2018, I flew myself on out here with my ex-girlfriend. Things did not go well. Uh, real, real bad relationship. And by the mid of 2018, around June or so, me and her went separate ways. She was sick, she needed her own doctor and had a lot of things going on with herself. Me personally, I came out here to do music, right? You know me, entertainer, actor, I try to do a little bit of everything. So that was my whole goal and purpose of coming to Connecticut. Now, I get out here, you know, she leaves, she, we're separated, I'm out here by myself. I was damn near homeless. Homeless, like had nowhere to go, was couch surfing, trying to figure out what to do with my next step. What was my next step? What was I going to do in my life, right? My bad, the dogs, that's probably what y'all heard in the background, scrabbling all over the place. But anyway, yeah, man, so I was couch surfing, trying to figure out what my next step was and what it was that I was gonna be doing with myself, right? So, due to the grace of God, uh, a lot of nice people out here. They helped me out. They took care of me and made sure that I was going to be all right. Not once did I ever sleep outside on the street. Not once did I ever really just purely without anything. You know, like I had food in my stomach. I had clothes on my back. Not like I was a charity case or anything like that. But I'm a survivor. I am a survivor. Ah! These damn dogs keep coming back in and out my house. Stay outside! So, yeah, I'm a survivor, all right? That is what I do. And like I said, due to the grace of God, man, he led me to this very beautiful woman who has been there for me since 2018. Um, when I was down to my lowest, when I was about to have nowhere to go, she literally sent me a message in the middle of the night thanking me for doing such a great job in my show and a good performance. See, the night before, I had went to a bar where I was always at and spent a lot of good time there making friends, communicating, and you know, just networking and, and just becoming who I am today, right? It's, they say it's the people around you that make you become who you will be eventually, right? Right. Anyway, so, um, what happened? Hold, uh, this is what happened. Hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hold on, I'm thinking. Oh, this what happened. That's right. So yeah, I did a show. It was a small little show at a bar. You know, I did my song Hangout. Y'all go check out Hangout down there in the sections. I think it's on this page. I had to do a lot of rebuilding. Anyway, so yeah, I had that Hangout, right? And then I get a message from the next night from this person who I thought was the person that I gave my number to, but it wasn't the person that I gave my number to. See, I'm thinking it was this little shawty who was going to hit me up and be like, hey, you know, you did pretty good. That ain't what happened. Anyway, what happened was I got a text from Facebook, from this little lady, said Daniela, and I was like, who's this? I don't know who this is, and she was like, hey, I just want to say thank you for doing such a good job on your show last night. I really enjoyed it, and you know, that warmed my heart. It warmed my heart. It feels so good when people reach out to me and let me know that my content made them feel good or anything that I have done, you know, entertaining-wise, made them smile or, you know, lifted joy some kind of way into their life. So, you know, I... I, I could not receive it because I was so distraught up here. I had so much going on up here that I could not receive what it was that she was trying to tell me, which was just have a great show. So eventually I ended up breaking down and talking to this random person about everything that was going on and why I was just broken and, and could not take what she was saying for what it was and be like, thank you and let it go. Nope. I went on a whole spiel, a whole rant, talking about everything that I'm about to tell y'all, or I am telling y'all, and guess what? Guess what she did? She got me a hotel room for like a week straight. Now, mind you, I have no money. I have nowhere to go. The person's house that I was just staying at, who was helping me and knew my situation, they put me out, used somebody else to put me out, and they did it on some sneaky stuff because I didn't want to give them the D. Yes. That's right, because I didn't want to give them the D, because I didn't like them, because I wasn't feeling them, and they was feeling me, but when I went and I tried to give them the D the first time, I admit it was on some drunk stuff, they wasn't feeling it, so, you know, now that I'm sober, I never pushed the issue on you, and you are allowing me to stay in your place, now... I'm cramping your style because these other dudes who you trying to thought for, they want to come in and give you the D. And I'm not interested in giving you the D. So now they give you an ultimatum. 
right now you got to choose whether or not I get to stay or or they going they going to take away the D, right? That's not fair to me at all. It's not my fault that, you know, you, you you misled me into thinking that you were being a kind person. That's not fair. You don't do that to people. If you're going to be a kind person, be a kind person to help somebody out, period, point blank. That just is what it is. So anyway, that's 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 how that happened. We end up separating. I know I'm not there at that person's house no more. And now this young lady has helped me with a hotel room. L speed up, you know, we're we going to skip a little things, cup ahead for And, um... You know, we start kicking and start hanging out and stuff like that. And at the same time, when I was getting kicked out of that place, I was just now getting a job. I had just got the job. I'm working at a restaurant. I'm a little bus boy. You know, I run the dishes and all that stuff. I'm just doing my thing. I'm, I'm working. So she helps me find a place. The place is like $145 a week or so. It's a one bedroom little thing. Every week you got to pay for it. Hold on. I got something on my lip. There we go. Every week, you got to pay $145, right? So, boom. Now, I'm staying in this place. She's coming over consistently, hanging out with me, checking on me, making sure I'm cool. She knows I'm mentally distraught, so she's taking me on trips. We're going on road trips and everything. And long story short, this person becomes my very best friend. This person becomes the one and only person that I can honestly say I trust and fully love with all my heart, man, because I ain't never felt this way about nobody. She has been down for me. She has rolled with me. She has been by my side. And she has got my mind out of that dark place that I was in. You understand me? So I just want to say now, this is Lil Skits 2.0. I'm back. You feel me, baby? I'm back. Look at the boy. I didn't grew up a little bit. I'm back. I'm ready. I'm about to start these skits again. You feel me? And we going to have a good time this year. You understand me? Because look. I ain't had nothing but good things coming my way, man. And you're going to have a lot of good things coming your way, too. You just got to believe. Hey, they say God put you through the toughest times to see what you're going to do. And I did not fold. You understand me? I did not fold at all. I stay true to myself and I stay down. You understand me? I stay down. And that's what you're supposed to do. And that's what you got to do. You got to stay down. You got to stay solid. So, with that being said, I'm going to get up out y'all head because I don't know if y'all even still watching this video or not. I hope you still watch the whole video. Uh, and I'm going to start doing these skits, man. So, I gave you all that. Just to give you a quick little insight of where I've been, what I've been doing, working on new music, working on new movies, just being myself, finding myself all over again, going through these trials and tribulations with God, my spirit, and, and, and redesigning who it is that I am supposed to be and not let nothing hold me back. You understand me? Nothing is going to stop me now because I'm already there. I'm this goddamn close. You understand me? Oh, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. One thousand subscribers by the end of this year. That's my goal. One thousand, and we gonna get it. All right. So thank y'all for hanging in there with me. We gonna get this party rocking. You understand me? Hey. <laughs>